Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, Orlando Chin and David Wayne. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are given shout outs in my videos and you can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Let's get started. Now we have a differential equation today. dy over dx is equal to x minus y divided by x plus y. Now these kinds of equations are fairly easy to solve. We're going to be using substitution. We're going to replace y with ux because we have a special type of equation and this substitution will actually simplify the problem. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Let's differentiate both sides to find out dy over dx. Since u is considered a function of x, uh, we're going to differentiate it and I'm going to write it as u prime multiplied by x plus the derivative of x is 1 multiplied by u. You can write this as u prime x plus u. Now let's go ahead and replace that on the left hand side u prime x plus u and on the right hand side we're going to get x minus ux divided by x plus ux. Awesome. I can go ahead and take out an x 1 minus u x 1 plus u. Obviously you don't want x to be 0 and you want to cancel out the x's here obviously and now we have the following u prime x plus u equals 1 minus u over 1 plus u. Now at this point I want to put you know this on the right hand side so let's go ahead and subtract u from both sides. We get 1 minus u over 1 plus u minus u and if you make a common denominator we get 1 minus u minus u minus u squared all over 1 plus u. Obviously I do want to write it in a nicer form so let's go ahead and write it this way u prime x is equal to negative u squared minus 2u it's, if it's your birthday happy birthday 2u divided by u plus 1. Now at this point I kind of want to separate the variables so let's go ahead and write the u prime as du over dx so we're going to get du over dx multiplied by x equals negative u squared minus 2u plus 1 over u plus 1 and then from here we can get the following dx over x equals u plus 1 divided by negative u squared minus 2u plus 1 du so I kind of put the du um, well the expression with u on the left hand side and all the x's on the right hand side well they kind of switch sides but anyways you get the idea this is the left hand side but it just became the right hand side okay great but I want it to be left hand side so now we gotta deal with uh, integration here but before that let's go ahead and do the following I want to multiply both the top and the bottom by negative 1 so we can write this as let's see negative u plus 1 divided by u squared plus 2u minus 1 du and then I want this to equal dx over x. Now at this point I would like to integrate both sides with respect to x. And since u is a function of x this is doable. And now how do you integrate? Right hand side is easy because it's just ln, right? The left hand side is also ln because if you call this something like let's say z and differentiate it you're going to get the top. Well pretty much. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to get uh, u squared plus 2u minus 1 equals z. And then from here, 2u plus 2 is equal to, well, I, should, I shouldn't forget the du. Uh, du equals dz. Now, I don't have that, but I do have u plus 1. That is multiplied by 2 du. And from here, I can basically write the u plus 1 du as one half of dz. But I also have a negative sign here, let's consider that. So we have the u plus 1 du, which can be written as one half of dz, but with the negative sign it's just going to be negative one half. So let's go ahead and write it. Negative one half dz over z equals the integral of dx over x. At this point, if you integrate both sides, you're going to get ln's, which is going to be you know, fairly easy. So you're going to get one half of ln absolute value of z equals ln absolute value of x. Let's go ahead and uh, substitute. Uh, remember, z is this, right? So we're going to replace z with that. 
and uh, negative one half of ln absolute value of u squared plus two u minus one and that is going to equal ln absolute value of x obviously you want to get rid of the ln so let's go ahead and move this here and obviously we should not forget the constant otherwise we're going to lose a lot of points right so plus c plus c okay there's there's always a constant now if you go ahead and move the negative one half there so you're going to get something like this ln um, u squared plus 2u minus 1 to the power negative 1 half and that is going to equal ln absolute value of x plus c when you move it like e to the power both sides you're going to get this from the left hand side which you can obviously write as 1 over the square root of u squared minus 2u minus 1 we don't really need the absolute value there because um, you know well, we could put it, but at the end, we're going to square both sides, so it's going to be uh, insignificant. But on the right-hand side, you're going to get something like this. Uh, e to the power ln absolute value of x times e to the power c, and we can call this k, like another constant, right? So now, we have the following. And obviously, this is going to be absolute value of x, right? So we're going to get, everything is going to be multiplied, and it's going to equal 1. So we're going to get the absolute, I mean, the square root of u squared plus 2u minus 1, multiply by the absolute value of x, multiply by k equals 1. And at this point, I'd like to square both sides, uh, but we can also do the following. Well, I guess we could square both sides. u squared plus 2u minus 1. When you square both sides, you're going to get x squared, and we can put the k here. And now, I would like to back substitute. What is u equal to? Well, u was our first substitution, right? u was equal to, well, from here it's not super clear, but u is y over x okay great so we're going to replace u with y over x and don't forget we're supposed to distribute the k squared i mean x squared so it's going to be uh, u is equal to y over x because y is ux so it's going to be y squared over x squared plus two times y over x minus one and now if you distribute the k you're going to get the following x squared is going to cancel out first so we're going to get, maybe just distribute the um, x squared, not the k. Okay, great. k can just stay as a constant. Uh, this is going to give us k times uh, y squared plus 2xy minus x squared equals 1. And then, uh, from here, what are we going to do, right? This is the critical point. And what we can basically do is, we can actually write it as 1 over k, right? We can divide both sides by k and call that something like m. Okay, great. So that's another constant. We keep changing it, but it's the constant anyways. It doesn't matter. So now I want to write the left-hand side as a perfect square. So let me write it as y squared. How about this? y plus x quantity squared, which is going to give us a plus x squared, but then I need to subtract 2x squared to get negative x squared. And now at this point, you want to uh, get the... Uh, y by itself pretty much uh, let's go ahead and do the following put this 2x squared on the right hand side and square root both sides when you square root both sides you have to use absolute value or use the plus minus sign so I'm gonna use plus minus sign and then finally from here I get the following y equals negative x plus minus the square root of 2x squared plus m where m is a constant now we're pretty much done with the solution. Those are the y values that will satisfy the equation. M is a constant. But let me show you the slope field. Slope field basically shows you the slope of tangents at several different points on the coordinate plane. So it kind of gives you an idea about the curve. But I also want to show you what the solution looks like. But of course, this is a particular value of the constant C. Uh, you could also you know, use different values. But uh, this is what I picked. And you kind of get the idea what the solution is going to look like. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.